up YouTube so we're gonna try to film this one more time I think this is like the third time I tried to do this and uh, so hopefully this is the last time because it's getting late and I'm really tired and I have work tomorrow and it's Sunday night and I spent the whole freaking day cleaning this reptile room so that it would be ready for this reptile room tour so I have no makeup on I am ready for bed Fuck, I don't even have a bra on, so we're going to get this on, and you guys are going to enjoy this damn room, so let's do this. We're going to start over here. So, this is Mr. Chunk. Look at his little sexy leg. He is gorge. Now, seriously, this guy has metabolic bone disease. Um, he's a rescue. Uh, I received him from some customers that came into my store where I work. And, uh, they didn't know how to handle his condition. Um, I have no idea what his backstory is. I just know that his legs don't work very good. And, clearly, he just did not receive enough calcium or UVB as a little baby. But he continues to grow and put on tons of weight and eat and get around. He does look really drunk when he moves. Like, he can't feel his legs. Um, but, you know, we work with him. And we, we've been really making good progress with getting him to um, move around enough that uh, he stays in shape and everything. So he's not just laying in one place all the time. Let's shoot down here. This is my Honduran curly hair tarantula. Her name is Medusa. She's really cute, really sweet, uh, not aggressive at all. I've had her probably going on two years now. She is super laid back, doesn't even try to get out. As you can see, I had this enclosure open in the meantime while I've been filming. She's just hanging out, doing her thing, you know, no biggie. She's a real sweetheart, actually. She's the only tarantula that I even, like, try to hold. Let's go down here. Lavender. So this guy is blind as a fucking bat. I mean, he can't see shit. So, I literally have to hand feed this dude with tweezers, um, one by one. He usually eats wax worms because they're soft and easy. Uh, yeah, so he's all by himself because he is a danger to anything in his thrashing range. Because if he thinks something might be food, he thrashes around with an open mouth, just biting in hopes that he might actually get something. So, yeah, he's by himself. And in here, I have a trio of other leopard geckos. By no means do I try to breed these guys. If they breed, that's cool. I would, you know, not mind it at all. I'm not going to lie, the last couple uh, clutches of eggs that they had, I have been throwing out just because I'm really, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to produce leopard geckos, especially not even like nice looking ones at that like I don't have fancy leopard geckos all of my animals are mostly rep like kind of like rescues I guess you could say um and I'm definitely not going out of my way to spend money on on uh leopard geckos not at this point at least up here is Mr. Grinch as my mom calls him I call him gringo um, he freaking hates me. I mean, like, literally hates me. Whips me, bites me, attacks me. Anything he can do. Like, he's already mad, and I'm literally just sitting here looking at him with the phone. And he is mad as fire. Like, if I get close to him, he'll probably whip at us. I mean, like, I'm telling you, this animal does not like me. And I'm trying to be his friend, man. Like, see, I'm trying to keep him. Like, I wasn't going to keep him. Because, I mean, I wasn't sure that I wanted a really, really big iguana. If I wanted a big lizard, I was probably going to get, like, a monitor. But, fuck it. He's here. That's gringo. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Bye. All right. This is Spinderella. She's another kind of, I guess, rescue, I guess. Somebody uh, literally on Craigslist did not want her. And I was kind of afraid that as a free animal, she would get a really shitty home, uh, just a shitty situation would happen, so I took her, and I've been, uh, getting her weight back up, she's, she's doing good, she's a, she's a little bit feisty, because she was never handled as a, as a little one, but, um, you know, she does all right for herself, for not being handled that often, and, um, nothing fancy there, nothing fancy at all, actually, all of my animals are kind of plain, so, 
This is my giant day gecko enclosure. Let's see if we can spot these little guys. Um, I know they're not happy that I am turning their lights on right now. There's one on the back, actually. That's the mommy. Her name is Greta. I breed these guys. I do hatch these eggs out. I really, really like the, uh, the green on them. I like any of the peacock, day geckos, gold dusts, lined. Just the colors. I don't know why. I'm just really attracted to the color scheme of these. But like I said, there's a breeding pair in there. So, you know, I really do enjoy them. This is my community tank. As you can see, there's a little knoll on the back. There's also two Bibron geckos. There's two Cuban tree frogs. There's a tiger leg monkey tree frog in here. Uh, a bark knoll. I think that's it. I think that's it right now. Like I said, it's just a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of community type little critters. Um, a lot of them were rescues. They were sick and or meant to be food for something else and I ended up bringing them here and raising them up and getting them healthy. So that's that. This is Lazy. He's my most recent bearded dragon rescue. He was in really bad shape when we got him. I mean super, super skinny. He was so emaciated. I actually have pictures I could show you guys. I mean, when I say this animal was on his last leg, he was on his last leg. They were feeding him small crickets only, uh, no greens or anything. They said that he didn't like them. They also said that he was intimidated by large crickets, so that's why he was only getting tiny, tiny crickets once a week. So um, we've been slowly regaining his weight, um, you know. I, I really have no excuses for for the, the owners, um, just negligence, straight negligence. So, anyways, he's in really good hands. He gets tons of tons and tons of salad every day to fill him up because he's always hungry, always ravenous, never sure if he's going to have another meal. So, we give him two large, large salads every day. That whole bowl gets filled up. As you can see, he's eaten almost all of it. Um, he gets a couple super worms or wax worms or horn worms. He gets one pinky, um, usually on Fridays. Um, I'm trying to think of what else he gets. Pretty much anything like that he could possibly eat, he gets. Because I work at a pet store, so I bring home different stuff for him all the time. Let's go down here. These are the babies to those giant day geckos I showed you guys a little bit ago. Um, sorry for the shitty watermarks and everything but yeah that's them on the back there's one there's another one in this little enclosure there's just live pothos in there with some fake vines and some little sticks and some pangea mixed in there this is my morning gecko enclosure actually there's one right there i have a trio in here um they are breeding for anybody who doesn't isn't familiar with this with this species of gecko, they are parthenogenic, so they do not need a male to breed. Um, they breed on their own. There's another one on the back wall. There's three in this enclosure. Like I said, they are gravid. They've been clicking and chirping, and I'm pretty sure there's somebody laid eggs in here. I just haven't found them yet. This little tiny bebe enclosure has my giant African... Prey mantis in there. I've only had this guy about two weeks at the most. Um, he's doing really good, eating really, really good. Sorry, I am trying desperately to get this to focus. But, anyways, that's him. Super cute, loving him. I'm gonna try to get more varieties of these guys to show you because I freaking really enjoy them. This is um, one of my alligator snapping turtles. I actually have two of them. The way these guys hunt is by opening their mouth really, really wide and using their little tongue as a lure. I freaking love watching them hunt. They are just so funny. Super, super cute. I mean, they lay completely still except for this cute little pink lure. That's their tongue. The other one's in the back there hiding from me. But yeah, that's their enclosure. This enclosure is um, my baby Sulcata's. He's tucked in the back there. 
not really going to pest him. I pulled him out before, but he's sleeping now, so I'm going to leave him in there. But yeah, that's his enclosure. It's just for the summer, I mean, just for the winter. All of my tortoises are kept outside um, during the summer months um, in enclosures. So this is my newest, I guess you could say, like, creepy crawly pet. Uh, it's, I guess, some variety of water scorpion. I'm trying to get this to focus and it's just not working. But anyways, the, the interesting thing about these guys is that they actually breathe out of that long tail thing that you can see up at the surface there. Yeah, they actually breathe out of it. So they have like an ass snorkel, which is freaking hilarious, I think. So yeah, they stick that out of the water, they breathe out of it, and then they hunt with these like praying mantis type claws in the front. That's what they catch guppies with. And I put guppies in here all the time and he snatches them with those claws and then stabs them through like their eye or something soft with that like I guess it might be like a proboscis or whatever, that thing in the front. He's got two huge eyeballs. Anyways, I'm loving him. He's cool as shit. I don't know anybody else that has one. This is another praying mantis. This little dude um, with hundreds and hundreds of his brothers and sisters hatched on someone's unlucky Christmas tree. And they didn't know what to do with them as the babies were just climbing all over their gifts and presents and the garland. So they captured a lot of them, brought them into my store where I work. And I kept a couple to raise. So that's one of them. It's some kind of like funnel spider. If anybody knows what it is, comment down below please. Because I really don't know. It has kind of like a brown abdomen. Makes like a crazy web. I need to get a better picture for you guys. I'll try to get a better one. This is my Black Widow's enclosure. You can see the little red on her abdomen there. Yeah, that's her. I've had her since literally she was a hatchling, and the guy uh, put her on a little toothbrush or a little like paintbrush and stuffed her in a little cup for me. I brought her home, and she cannibalized her sibling, and I've kept her ever since. Right behind her is a big eye tree frog that is in quarantine. Super cute. I've only had him also. unboxing or whatever from the show that's when I got him he's doing really good still eating good he'll be ready to be moved into his permanent enclosure very soon another praying mantis from the Christmas tree extravaganza that one's actually getting quite big so yeah they're gonna be getting rehoused very soon I have these cool little screen like bug keeper things that I'm gonna put them in at least one in each one because obviously they're gonna eat each other so up here is Cruella. Uh, she's hiding because I was filming her earlier and she was pissed. She's my veiled chameleon. She's about three years old. Yeah, she's not happy, but that's her. She never tries to really escape. She does come out every once in a while and like hangs right there on the top, but she never really goes too far. She's pretty well behaved. There's nothing in that other one. Yeah, no more reptiles. This is ah, Amazon Tree Bella. Yeah. I've only had him probably about a month. He had horrible mites when we got him. He had to be quarantined forever. Um, he's doing much better, really starting to eat. So he will be ready to be in his new permanent enclosure very soon. So he'll be exiting this little tiny tank. Down here is a crested gecko enclosure. It's actually on the back wall back there. Um, yeah. I'll open it and see if we can get a better view. There he is, little cutie pie. That's actually the baby that you guys, um, if you go back to one of the other videos of the hatching hatching video from like last summer, that's that gecko. Yeah, so that's as a baby and now he is getting quite mature now. This is another Cresta gecko enclosure. I don't know where he is, this is Noodle. Noodle is a, like, lighter, sandy color with Dalmatian markings. Um, I'll have to get a picture of him or something. Down here is another quarantine tank. This is a gold deco golden gecko pair, those, like, cheapy ones that probably would have been fed to some kind of snake had I not taken them. So, yeah, that's Cornelius. His girlfriend's in there somewhere. Uh, she, I think, actually might even be gravid. But as soon as 
they <clears throat> are adjusted and I have to worm them too because I never did worm them then they will be going into a large community kind of tank so with some other maybe species I'm not really sure yet I might even just keep them by themselves um, but yeah so that's them so they'll be getting moved very soon right here is my little pumpkin patch tarantula who I freaking adore I also have had him since he was so tiny like literally he he was just the tiniest little sling when I got him um, he's really grown a ton since I've like I don't even know how old he is maybe a couple months I should really keep track but yeah he's doing good next to him is actually a salamander that somebody found in their basement in the middle of winter and brought it to the store so I feed him like fruit flies and isopods and all kinds of stuff I never really get to see him every blue moon when I first put like fruit flies and stuff in I'll see him climbing around but yeah so that's his little thing in here is the uh, pair of gold dust day geckos that we have um, there's actually a breeding pair in here I'm gonna see if we can find some Whoop, there's one I really wanted to see if we could show them to you because they are just so beautiful well anyways you did see the one but these are also a breeding pair that we have um, we've gotten about six babies from them um, the babies are really hard to raise we actually had lost a few of them uh, they are just really tricky I mean I don't know if the humidity wasn't right or what the problems were that we were having but they would all get to about six eight weeks old at least and then um, we, they, we had a couple pass I don't know what happened but uh, yeah so we'll try again next season um, they haven't produced anything all winter thankfully so we've been pumping them full of Pangea ca extra calcium that kind of stuff so we'll uh, definitely see how that goes next next season and I think that's about it for the uh, like reptiles in here so this is kind of how my room looks yep there we go and then it goes around like this so yeah I literally am always adding changing getting new stuff so I will keep you guys updated like I said if anybody wants um, a more in-depth tour on the rest of my animals just let me know and I will be sure to to do that I mean I, like I said I have like 16 birds at least and all kinds of other cool stuff fish tanks puffer fish down there so just let me know all right, guys, you guys have a good night. If you like this video, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up so that I know I'm doing a good job. Um, we're just going to end here with sexy, sexy Mr. Chunk. Oh, All right, guys, you guys have a good night. See ya.